Welcome back to shows called Brand Equity and I'm Sonali Krishna. Now with the online space buzzing with activity, how can the world of mobile be left behind? With penetration levels of portable devices such as feature and smartphones increasing substantially and the fact that mobile communication helps you target the right consumer, marketers are giving a serious thought of incorporating this medium in their digital strategy. China and Japan, on the other hand, are light years ahead of us when it comes to mobile marketing as they witnessed the 3G revolution some years ago and have in fact taken giant steps in this space. Samriti Grover caught up with the thinkers of the industry at AppTech 2011, the digital marketing forum that just concluded in Delhi, to get a lowdown on the growth and future prospects of this medium. Get a wake-up call by an Axe Angel on your mobile phone. Call me Axe Man and get a chance to win iPhones and other prizes. Or check out the specs of the new car that you want to buy. That's the new face of mobile marketing that brands in India are donning. Smart, innovative and engaging. But still in its nascent stage. This new platform of marketing has only touched the tip of the iceberg. We need to go back to basics and talk about our target audience, our consumer, where they are and what they are doing. Both agencies and clients grappling with a number of challenges in this domain. The number of subscribers are increasing dramatically, which makes it fairly attractive for marketers. However, one of the key challenges that comes into play is that still the demographics of the users are not very clear, uh, which makes it targeting them that much more difficult uh, when you want to really do focus targeting uh, on this segment. The sheer volume and its direct impact is what has caught the fancy of advertisers. Currently, India boasts of over 700 million mobile users and the number is increasing by 10 to 15 million every month. Of these, nearly 50 to 60 million are active mobile internet users and close to 150 million are active GPRS subscribers. With the launch of 3G, the smartphone penetration itself has seen a growth of 44%, making the mobile platform a very attractive option for marketers and a must-have in their digital strategy. We see a huge volume of our searches coming from mobile already uh, on a daily basis. Uh, we also have a huge network called AdMob where we display ads across mobile websites and applications and, and the kind of traffic growth that we have seen across the network in the last one year has been stupendous. India currently is where its neighbors China and Japan were about five years ago in its mobile marketing journey. The rollout of 3G in China took place in 2006 and was followed by a smartphone revolution which changed the game for mobile advertising in the country. With the China mobile landscape being very similar to that of India, there is a lot that we can learn from these advanced markets. In fact, realizing the potential India throws up in the mobile space, large mobile marketing boutique shops like Madhouse in China are already in the process of making their entry into India. China, 340 brands, 7,400 phone models, from highest end to lowest, from smartphone to feature phone, and probably still have some basic phone in China. And that, you can see that. In, China, uh, in India as well. That's probably something that we can leverage as a, as a mobile advertising network, marketing uh, 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 solution providers. Um, and that's one of the reasons that we pick, you know, as we expand uh, to international market, India is the, the first market that we pick. The inflection points in terms of China um, uh, has happened where these smartphones and, and fast data connectivity has come into place in a very large way. So once that happens, then suddenly a lot of our possibilities open up. So I think the key thing for us in this market is that I think on the smartphone side, you know, things are getting, prices are coming right down. People are getting access to those. Uh, the network side is, I think that's where there are challenges right now.
but clients will only start looking at this medium seriously once there is some kind of a measurement system for efficacy and engagement. I challenge the the, the propagators and uh, and promoters of this industry to come back to us. We have the money. You guys have to come and convince us to stop making gut-based decisions, which is what we're making right now, and go to fact-based decisions. There is no doubt that the consumer is spending much more time on this screen. Today, the interest in mobile marketing is restricted to just heightened curiosity. But in time, this will translate into larger spends and more experimental marketing on this medium. Time for a short breather, but has marketing now moved from advertising to crowdsourcing and user-generated content? Truth on this. Stay tuned to find out.